Hello, and welcome to Charm Health, your medical records management and practice management application on the cloud. This video explains how to send and receive orders electronically through Charm Health and Quest Labs. Creating and transmitting lab orders from an encounter, creating and transmitting lab orders without creating an encounter, creating and receiving electronic results, creating and transmitting lab orders to Quest Labs from an encounter. In this section, we are going to create lab orders from a chart note of a patient's visit and transmit them electronically to Quest Labs. First, search for a patient and create an encounter. In the diagnosis section, add diagnosis. In the recommendation section, select the order labs tab. To add labs, select the search and add option. Choose Quest Diagnostics Lab from the dropdown. Entering the test name will list the tests matching in the Quest compendium. If the selected test has add order entry or AOE questions, fill in the answers and add the tests to the chart note. Edit AOE option can also be used to edit the filled out AOE details. Multiple tests can be searched and added to the lab order. Map DX codes. Once you have ordered the lab tests, you have to map the patient's active diagnoses to the lab using the map DX. The map all DX checkbox can be used to map all of the di active diagnoses of the patient to all tests. Diagnoses can also be mapped on a specific test level. To transmit the lab order electronically from the encounter, add all tests and use the transmit function in transmit view. In transmit view, lab orders added to the chart note will be listed. The send order electronically option will display the lab order summary view. Here, you can verify the details of the lab order. Guarantor details are at the top of the page and to be edited if needed. If the guarantor details are configured in the patient demographic section, it will be automatically pulled here. If you have an in-house laboratory and are collecting specimens for the lab order, please fill out the specimen collection date and time. You can view AOE information and can make any necessary edits here. Labs can be billed in three ways, such as client, patient, and third party. You could select the option based on individual who pays for the lab fee. One, if the patient is client practices take responsibility to pay the lab fee. If the bill is patient, the lab fee will be paid by the patient directly to the laboratory. If you select the third party billing, then the lab fee will be paid by the insurance company. If the practice has an in-house lab, if they collect a specimen and place the order directly to Quest Diagnostics Lab using the place order to LIS button, they can do so. The specimen sample will be transported to Quest Labs. When collecting specimens in-house, you have to enter insurance card details on the third-party billing type. The lab can claim the amount directly from the insurance company slash payer. On placing order to LIS, order tests will be grouped based on test type, specimen condition, 
and the temperature. This leads to the split of a single lab order to multiple lab orders. If you are not collecting the specimens in-house, you can place the order to PSC. In this case, you can use the bill type as patient. The patient will have to go in person to the service center for the specimen draw. Once it has been electronically ordered, click transmit to view the status of the lab order transmission. This opens up the order details view. Electronically sent information can be seen here, and the lab orders can be printed using the print option. Order requisition copy can be given to the patient in case of orders sent to the patient service center. Then select the print specimen label option. Enter the number of copies you want and print. Creating and transmitting lab orders from the lab order section without creating an encounter. Lab orders can be added without an encounter from the lab order section using the plus lab order button. Search for the required patient and select the search and add option to find the lab and tests you are looking for. Enter the AOE details if required. Map the DX to the corresponding tests and save the order. Click the Send Order Electronically action item. This will open the Order Summary page. Enter the specimen collection date and time. Select the build type based on the client and then place the lab order. And submit to LIS or PSC as in the encounter section. Once the order has been placed, the order status will be displayed under the lab order section. The export to PDF option is used to download the lab orders. The lab order copy contains complete details of the tests ordered, AOE, diagnosis details, billing details, and lab core specific barcodes. Creating and receiving electronic results. In this section, we are going to see the results being electronically received from lab core and review the workflow. Once a lab completes a test, the test will be pushed electronically to Charm Health. The received results will be available in Labs, Lab Result, as well as the Patients dashboard in the Lab Records section. Received lab results are in, un in the unsteined status, and reviewers can review the results using the review action item. Result details received from LabCorp will be displayed in the review section. If the review result contains the fasting details, then it could be viewed by clicking the show more option. After review, the report can be signed using the sign button. If the patient already has a Charm Health PHR account, you could share the results with them by clicking the Share Record with Patient. You could also send an internal message to the patient if required. You could easily locate all signed results by utilizing the Signed Results filter. The lab report can be downloaded using the Export as PDF option. manually mapping a patient to a result. Unsolicited results may be received with incorrect patient details. Such results cannot be mapped to the patient automatically. They are listed in the lab results section with an unknown patient. 
The patient can be mapped to this result using the Map Patient option. The Map Patient view displays the patient information received in the result message, as well as the patient details in your account that match the date of birth and gender of the received patient details. If the probable patients list does not have an appropriate patient, use the search by patient name or record ID field to pull the matching results by name slash record ID criteria. Map the appropriate patient to the result. Results can be reviewed after assigning an appropriate patient. Thank you for watching this video. For any help, write an email to support at charmhealth.com. Follow us on social media for the latest updates.